friends, you've got to see this. <laughs> morning my friends and welcome back to another fossil hunting episode well today I'm traveling down this road I don't know where it leads but I hope it's a place where we can find fossils but this road is near the place where I've been in my last videos because the houses are down there in the valley so see and there's a good chance that in the valley we can find some fossils because as you know the erosion and so on the fossils tend to gather at the bottom of the valleys so let's see if we can find some cool stuff today it's a beautiful day down here in Portugal so we are in the beginning of the springtime so let's hope that today it's going to be a lovely day for fossils also. I guess this is a BTT track. Let me see. Yes. Okay, it's a BTT track. Never mind. So, let's get going. So guys, I passed that little forest over there. And then I didn't go to the wind turbine because you already see what's in there in the other videos. So I go down to this valley climb up myself up way up to here in this road and I still have sorry about the light but the sun it's too strong so let me go into the shadow maybe you can see better so the sun is too strong and I guess I'm going to see what's in this other valley down down here I passed the other valley and it's impossible to pass unnoticed because there are lots and lots of dogs down there so my luck is it's still very early and I guess the dogs bark but no one cares <laughs> okay so guys I'm still up here uh, in the top of this hill and <clears throat> I was looking down at the rocks that are in here that differ that are different from the other side these ones are more uh, brownish in looks uh, the others are more gray but this seems uh, despite the fact that I am uh, way up in here in the in the hill there's evidence still evidence of marine life in these rocks so I guess up here I can still find some some cool stuff but my main purpose is down below so I guess I will try my luck down below let's go Ooh, I made a rhyme so guys I am going to talk a little bit lower than usual because I'm in the middle of the houses here in the in the bottom of the valley Well, I am quiet now because I cross uh, a guy passing the dog with some weak leash and the dog was a Saint Bernard <laughs> so I don't want to get myself into troubles Now I realize that I'm going to have a little problem because, <clears throat> well, if I found fossils down in this valley, I'm not sure how I'm going to carry them way up there and then past the other valley. So. 
so it's going to be a very physical and demanding task okay I don't know if it's the milkman I believe it's the milkman or the guy from the bakery I don't know what to call it in in English but here the bread is delivered to the doorstep <laughs> pretty cool still warm the bread okay now I'm going to get quiet So guys, up here it's all ups and downs and now we are going up again so I, as you can see I am right in the middle of this little valley so let's see I didn't find any fossil yet so I hope things will get better so let's see Okay guys, <laughs> I climbed myself way up in here and I was looking at the, the road that is filled with rocks and now I am starting to get a little bit more happy because I already spot something cool. Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. <sighs> See it over here? Okay, I might be wrong, but I guess this other one in here, let me see if this does a proper zoom. Okay, now, I guess this is a Trigornia Lusitania, and pretty neat. It is, it is a shell. Okay. Haha. <laughs> okay nice one and you can see some I don't know maybe barnacles or I don't know if this is characteristic of the shell but pretty cool I have only one or two of these species so it's a pretty good indicator that I am in the right spot so let's see what else we can find <laughs> oh my god friends I'm so happy because I was in here I get up and I turn to this side and what did I see? It's a sponge man. It's really it is a sponge. Take a look at this. Whoa. And it's very very nice. Let me see if I can take it out from over there. So just give me a minute because I didn't have my my screwdriver at hand. So let's see if I can remove this. Oh it's very nice. I don't know if this is a sponge or a coral. Well, I said sponge, but... Zoom it, please, camera. Nice. Real nice. <laughs> okay. In the valley, we can find some good stuff. <laughs> so, friends, this is so cool. I have to suppress some of my, my enthusiasm but this track over here is covered with little fossils so take a look at this this is just a piece of shell it's broken i don't know if it is an archometilus but i guess it's not so right here it is there is something also ah, well, this one i am not able to take to remove this one this one is very difficult to move so I don't know. Well, I guess this one is a piece of Archimedes. You can see it by the the pattern of the shell, but I have plenty of this. So, since the whoa, what's this? What's this in here? There is something. Maybe a shell. Okay, since it was running almost during all of the week and the weekend, it's good to, to do fossil hunting. I guess I'm going to investigate this 
water line over here where the water flows because uh, I'm hoping that we can oh check this out I don't know if this is a coral or a sponge I don't know the difference between the two but I guess I'm going to find something cool in here okay sorry guys I have to be a little bit quiet because I'm near the, the houses over there okay let's see if I can properly identify whatever this is maybe this is just a rock but it has some some weird patterns okay. oh take a good look a broken bit of a trigornia ha 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 very cool what's that over there this looks like it is very round what is this really is this a shell or what is this it looks like one but it's half eaten see this bit around here oh, this is very very cool lots of shells around here <laughs> oh what's that now I know what the mystery fossil was I guess it was part of of this Trigornia Lusitania see the lines over there let me see if this does a proper zoom see the lines over there are uh, greater than these ones over here so I thought that I was looking some sort of ammonite but it is a shell okay mystery is solved now I need to find one complete whoa 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 hey 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 I guess this is a, another piece of a sponge but this one pretty much eroded and whoa, another coral and this one is bigger take a good look at this oh my god nice one this is cool guys take a look at this this is a huge piece of coral simply huge oh oh my god oh. this was probably part of a reef oh my god and still oh and my phone is ringing Sorry guys. So I was about to show you this guys when I was interrupted and this is massive. It still has something something inside but take a look at the the pattern. Pretty nice. And I guess there is more over there. Hidden. See? Oh and there is another one in here. Oh my god, take a look at this one. Oh, this one is... Oh my god. How nice it is. And it has this little hole. Oh my god. This one I will bring along. This one I will stash it in here. To see if I can come here in another... Oh, what's that? <laughs> Guys who like minerals. A lot of quartz is in here. What a nice spot this is. <laughs> Very cool. Friends, you've got to see this. <laughs> I was messing around in this little hole over here and I uh, put this rock to the side and I, I didn't see anything relevant. So it has some pieces of, I don't know, broken shells 
and so on but take a look at this side over here oh my god this is so neat a tiny gastropod in the beginning I thought that this could be well a normal snail but it's not it's one that is fossilized and take a good look still connected to the rock this is pretty incredible over here yeah and there is a bit of oh take a good look there is a bit of thorn from a sea urchin whoa this one is different oh my god this one is different the other clubs from the sea urchins that that i found oh this one has this bit around here that was attached to the the urchin but the tip it's different oh, oh. oh my god two great finds in one place oh no this is too much <laughs> i was talking to the camera and i'm going just to pan this to this side over here and i don't know guys there is another one in here <laughs> oh my god so nice oh my god this is not a seed this is this is a okay this one is this oh my god this is so complete oh, 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 oh. I'm in the I'm in the, an excellent spot <laughs> I'm going to take my time in here <laughs> Oh my friends, take a look at this beauty. Ho, 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 ho. This is a coral. And it has some calcite inside. If I put it in the sand, maybe it will shine a little bit for you guys to see. Let's see if it does the proper. Now you can see it. So it has some nice sparkles inside. So it's pretty cool. Oh my god. The camera is not doing the zoom. And now. Now it is. I have to cover the background in order the camera to focus the object that I have, the object, the fossil that I have in the hand. But the sparkles of the crystals inside. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho, this, I guess this one is going to my collection. I have to bought another cabinet, that's for sure. <laughs> I don't know what is better in here, if the corals that are a bit everywhere see another bit of coral and there's another bit over here but what is this supposed to be what's this oh oh my god this is a oh this is a cup sea urchin so it, is, it is still has this pointy stuff maybe pseudo sidarish mokos i believe that is the name well oh my god there is another one over there <laughs> this is way cool i am talking and i'm seeing any more yet <laughs> these ones are very cool because they had the the spiky stuff so nice okay so guys <laughs> I wasn't ready so I was uh, messing around in this spot over here so I guess I found a uh, Trigornia Lusitania it's it's pretty neat I believe it's very complete uh, for you guys that don't know this kind of shell it's like a shell but like an armored shell it has some spikes across the 
the the shell of of itself so pretty neat i will wash this for you guys to see it i have one or two at my place uh, maybe three but this seems pretty elusive to find <laughs> so i guess this one is going to my collection well friends looks like i'm a bit lost <laughs> Okay, I guess I shouldn't uh, shouldn't be in this road, but what the hell? Now I'm going to see where it leads. So I guess my car is about I don't know five to six kilometers, but I believe it's in the other direction. But if I found myself a way around to these hills, I guess I can can go back to my car so my friends welcome back to my house uh, now I managed to clean some of the little fossils that I found today the other ones are still in that container and I'll show you right in a moment I just want to point out that these ones that I found these these uh, thorns of sea urchins that I found on this new location uh, are a little bit different from the first ones that I found because these ones are full with dots on the top I don't know if the thorns of the sea urchin were in this in these dots or if this was some sort of defense mechanism but it's pretty neat because the first ones that I found normally this these dots are not so pronounced as in this these new ones that I found I guess the the first ones that I found are, are just the inner mold of this so as you can see it looks like it, it has an outer shell or something like that uh, this other one you can clearly see okay let me see if the camera does the proper zoom you can see the dots also and this other one also I don't know if I'm going to post uh, every discovery of this on YouTube because it would take too long in the video I guess I'm just going to put the the best ones and this this other one this is pretty neat because you can clearly see the dots on the top but it looks like the development starts way in the bottom and this piece over here the tip this was the the thing that was attached to the the round shell of the sea urchin I don't know if this belongs to a different species or if this was just a juvenile thorn as if I can call it like that but still pretty neat so another thing that I want to point out uh, is that that I found a couple that almost looks like that they, they have a pattern a pattern of colors I don't know if if these are colors I know that in the fossils colors are in existence but it almost looks like it has some sort of color pattern similar to the the shells that we we now see on the seabed but it's it's pretty cool this other one also have the the spots some sort of I don't know the, if these are colors we can call it coral colors or if this is some sort of uh, stains uh, provoked by the the moist in the fossil well I guess I leave that to the the, the ones that are specialists in this I don't I don't think these are colors but I think they are a pattern of some sort well these are the two gastropods that I found today those little gastropods this other one is still attached to the matrix which is pretty neat uh, I have a couple of them that are huge but this one is smaller but it's still pretty neat so the other things that I found were this Trigornia lusitania I have another one in the in the container that's pretty neat this one is a bit eroded so you cannot see the the um, the armor of the shell <laughs> but I found a pieces of of shell but no no one like this other one so it's still a part of shell I have a, the a Tragornia lusitan in the container I guess it is in here for you guys to see it now it's much more cleaner than when i found it so still pretty neat 
Well, I managed to find some, I guess they are horn corals. In the beginning I was confusing this with some sort of sponge, but I guess these other ones are corals and they are they are a couple of them. So this this is a fatty one. <laughs> and well, this is just a bit uh, a little bit roached out, roached out, but still cool. This other one you can this other one has something on on that hole over there. I don't know if it is another uh, uh, well uh, I don't know if this is another organism that fell over and w was fossilized in there but still pretty neat looking uh, like that almost looks like some sort of alien structure <laughs> uh, well my comparison was not very happy so this is a piece I guess I'm not sure. This is a piece of of uh, a sponge or a coral. This uh, this I don't have the the certain. So, and this is pretty much eroded. So, the best ones I kept in there. So, I'm going to take this other one out. So, for you guys to see it. So after some cleaning, I found that this other one has uh, a hole in here. Which is pretty neat i don't know what the purpose are and the other bottom it's very very much petrified but still very cool and on this side we can see some darker marks i don't know if there is another organism that was attached to this side over here okay now my dogs are starting to make noise so i have to pet a little bit Sorry guys. So, as I was saying, this is a pretty nice piece. It has this little hole over here that I don't know what's the meaning of this of, or if it is characteristic of this organism or not. I really don't know. So, this is very cool. You can see the details of the of the this hive pattern almost looks like it has a spot in the middle very nice and on this side there is this black stuff that I don't know if it is uh, meaning uh, meaning that, that there was an organism or some other stuff attached to this this bit over here still pretty nice so this one is going to my collection haha <laughs> so the other one was this this bit of I believe it's a coral that was sticking out from the ground uh, it almost looks like it, it is a brain <laughs> looking like that <laughs> pretty weird uh, it has this this concavity over here and it has that leopard pattern so pretty neat so the other ones you already saw this this is a bit of coral now it's a bit wet but it's full of calcite and it produces some glows when exposed to the the sun uh, I I guess I have to wait that this this dries a little bit to produce that that glow or if I, I put um, some sort of light source on, on behind this will light up I guess because of the the crystals that are inside so we have this bit over here well this was quite interesting for me because at first glance it was nothing but there is this bit over here that it's different from the other the rest so I don't know what is this uh, I guess maybe some sort of uh, coral tip let me put it like that because the camera is not doing the proper zoom so it almost looks like it is a tooth but i guess it's not this is just some tip of coral pretty nice i don't know what it is I, it was cool if i can uh, i would found the, the other rest but okay this is another bit of coral as you can see this this almost looks like it has some sort of mushroom uh, or brain looking <laughs> looking uh, aspect so it's quite similar to this one but this this other one it's 
more eroded and more difficult to recognize that it is a, a coral. The other bits over here, it, they are uh, horn coral also. This one is a, it's much bigger than the, the rest that I found. So still pretty nice. Let me put it in the here. And the other bit over here, it's again another piece of coral. So today I found a lot of corals and they are they have this similar similarity. So this other one also have a hole in here and this also have a hole. So I don't know if this is just coincidence or if it translates into something. Well, I don't know. So guys, for today that's about it. I hope that you like the the video. Um I made some extra footage for you guys. I don't know if you are going to like it or not. Uh, the video is a little bit longer. So, um, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we we'll see you on the next movie. Bye! So, guys, just one more thing before I leave. So, some of you asked me in the last movie to see the aspect of the fossil that was incarcerated in that huge block of rock so here it is I managed to remove it like that so this one is going to my collection so guys I hope you like the today's video don't forget to put a like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next movie bye